I went out to the hazel wood because a fire was in my head, and cut and peeled a hazel wand and hooked a berry to a thread. And when white moths were on the wing, and moth-like stars were flickering out, I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout. When I'd laid it on the floor, I went to blow the fire aflame. But something rustled on the floor, and someone called me by my name. It had become a glimmering girl with apple blossom in her hair, who called me by my name and ran and faded through the brightening air. Though I am old with wandering through hollow lands and hilly lands, I will find out where she has gone and kiss her lips and take her hands and walk among long dappled grass and pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon, the golden apples of the sun. Now all the truth is out. Be secret and take defeat from any brazen throat. For how can you compete, being honour bred, with one who, were it proved he lies, were neither shamed in his own nor in his neighbour's eyes? Bred to a harder thing than triumph, turn away, and like a laughing string whereon mad fingers play amid a place of stone. Be secret and exult, because of all things known, that is most difficult. I would that we were, my beloved, white birds on the foam of the sea, we tire of the flame of the meteor before it can fade and flee, and the flame of the blue star of twilight hung low on the rim of the sky has awaked in our hearts, my beloved, a sadness that may not die. A weariness comes from those dreamers do dabbled the lily and rose. Ah, oh, dream not of them, my beloved, the flame of the meteor that goes, or the flame of the blue star that lingers, hung low in the fall of the dew. For I would we were changed to white birds on the wandering foam, I and you. I am haunted by numberless islands and many a Danian shore, where time would surely forget us and sorrow Come near us no more. Soon, far from the rose and the lily and fret of the flames would we be, were we only white birds, my beloved, buoyed out on the foam of the sea. That is no country for old men. The young in one another's arms, birds in the trees, those dying generations, at their song. The salmon falls, the mackerel crowd it sees, fish, flesh, or fowl commend all summer long whatever is begotten, 
born and eyes. Caught in that sensual music of neglect monuments of unaging intellect, an aged man is but a paltry thing, a tattooed coat upon a stick, unless soul clap its hands and sing, and louder sing for every tatter in its mortal dress. Nor is there singing school, but studying monuments of its own magnificence. And therefore I have sailed the seas and come to the holy city of Byzantium. O sages standing in God's holy fire as in the cold mosaic of a wall, come from the holy fire, burn in a gyre, and be the singing masters of my soul. Consume my heart away, sick with desire, and fasten to a dying animal it knows not what it is, and gather me into the artifice of eternity. Once out of nature, I shall never take my bodily form from any natural thing, but such a form as Grecian goldsmiths make of hammered gold and gold enameling to keep a drowsy emperor awake, or set upon a golden bow to sing to lords and ladies of Byzantium of what is past or passing, or to come. When you're old and grey and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes at once and of their shadows deep. How many loved your moments of glad grace and loved your beauty with love false or true. But one man loved the pilgrim soul in you and loved the sorrows of your changing face. And bending down beside the glowing bars, Murmur a little sadly how love fled and paced upon the mountains overhead and hid his face amid a crowd of stars. I wander by the edge of this desolate lake where wind cries in the sedge until the axle break that keeps the stars in their round and hands hurl in the deep the banners of east and west and the girdle of light is unbound. Your breast will not lie by the breast of your beloved in sleep. Had I the heavens embroidered cloths and wrought with gold and in silver light, the blue and the dim and the dark cloths of night and light and the half light, I would spread the cloths under your feet. But I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. <laughs>